How's it going? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to change your oil in your car. First off, Edmunds.com recommends looking at your recommended oil for your car. Each, each car has a different oil that it needs to take. And some newer cars require better oil and some older, car, older cars require specific oil that goes specific to your vehicle model. When it comes to changing your oil, the first thing you like to do is take off the oil filter under your car. You do this by going under your car and locating the oil filter which is usually on the passenger side of your car. The first thing you need to do is unscrew the oil filter. This may be a little bit tricky, which you can use WD-40 or a little grease to help you out. The second thing you need to do is find your oil pan. The oil pan is directly beside your oil filter. There should be a little knob that you need to, need to undo, but before you do that, you should place a pan underneath to catch all the loose oil that's going to be coming out. Next, Edmunds.com, I'm sorry about that, AutoZone.com recommends you having safety goggles and, and safety, um, safety ear wear on. This is due to because oil releases fumes that can go into your ears and go into your eyes. After replacing the oil pan down underneath your car, you need to undo the, do the knob that's holding your oil and let it all flow out. I recommend flushing your oil filter oil system with an additive before adding new oil. After beginning to add new oil, you need to replace the oil knob and take your new oil filter out of the box. Your oil filter will come with styrofoam and plastic wrap that's wrapped around it. Take off all extra material that's added to it and screw the new oil filter back into place. Next thing you need to do is pop your hood. I recommend checking your oil level on your stick and wiping the excess off so you can get a new measurement of how much oil you exactly have in your car. Each car requires a different amount of oil so make sure you research how much oil you exactly need to put in. I recommend a funnel which allows you to put oil in the car much safer and much cleaner than getting it all over the engine bay. The next step you need to do is locate your your oil input. This is often beside the beside the oil stick and connected to your engine. After you take off the first, after you take off the cap, you need to put the funnel into the oil and begin pouring in oil. Do not pour do not pour oil in too fast, or it will become leaky and spill out, spill out into your ground. Take one by one and measure measure oil level after you take one quart in. Four to five quarts should be enough but it may be different for your vehicle. After you pour the oil in, take out the funnel and replace the cap. Start your engine for about 5 to 10 minutes and allow it to run through your vehicle. There are some also extra checks that you need to be done. Make sure your oil gauge within your car has changed to the new oil. This can often lead to other problems and be fixed by a mechanic. If your oil gauge is not showing the new, uh, the new oil level, take about a five to ten mile drive and it should it should represent the new oil if it doesn't represent the new oil take your car to the mechanic and allow them to adjust whatever needs to be adjusted after you after you've replaced the new oil allow the new oil to run in your engine for about seven to ten days this is due to because new oil nowadays has additives to it that cleans out your oil system with old oil you have corrosion that builds within your engine bay and extra pipes within your car the new oil will clean all this corrosion out and allow your engine to run smoothly. You can also add additives to oil that will last, that will allow it to last longer. I recommend not adding any additives due, due to because you don't know what's inside of these additives. But if you need to, I recommend going to an AutoZone. They will allow help that will tell you exactly what you need to add. If you by chance add the wrong oil to your car, I recommend taking it to a mechanic immediately. Running your car with the wrong oil can damage the engine and cause it to cause it to overheat and allow your engine to stop working. You should replace your oil every 100,000 miles or within your manufacturer's recommended limit. Oil within your car will allow your car to run smoothly and allow you to get better gas mileage. With old oil, your car will be not running smoothly, will be rough, and the your gas mileage will drastically decrease. After you've performed all the maintenance, make sure you clean up your mess and pick up any oil that's left in the ground. Oil will stay in the ground and will leak into the, our water system ca causing pollution. It is one of the number one pollution causes every single year. After you've done all these steps, you should be good to go and go down the road. Have a safe day and safe driving. And remember, 
if you have any problems with the car, always take it to a mechanic. They will allow you to figure out what you need to be done in a safe and precise manner.